Um, as you probably have heard, because it's all over the media, it's everywhere, uh, Elon Musk has sued, uh, I think he, he filed the lawsuit on Monday, an organization called Media Matters. Media Matters presents itself as an organization that is out there to, uh, you know, uh, uh, let advertisers and let others know about uh, about the media, about fringe, or, uh, 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 fringe opinions, about uh, extremism, let's call it that. Uh, that's what they call it uh, in the media. And, uh, you know, to let, to let uh, the, the advertisers and others know um, when they identify bad stuff, bad ideas uh, being prevalent out there. And look, an organization like this is valuable, uh, it, it could be valuable, put it that way, um, it, providing information and providing screening uh, of the media, uh, which a lot of us don't have time to do and uh, a lot of advertisers probably don't have time to do. And I know a lot of advertisers would prefer not to be associated with certain fringe views and certain fringe um, uh, opinions. But of course, Media Matters is dominated by the left and it's dominated by uh, a leftist agenda. So you're unlikely to see Media Matters flag for advertisers support of Hamas or support for the Palestinians or support for uh, uh, you know uh, other crazy left-wing agenda items. Uh, you know, so, you know, they, they, they're they not going to identify uh, CRT or, or um, any of the kind of postmodern left's agenda as uh, worthy of uh, a flagging because that is to them mainstream. So they're much more focused on anything uh, on the right that they view as offensive. Uh, in particular, they're going after... Uh, uh, X or, or Twitter, as I like to call them, or as they used to be called, and as they still should be called, um, they, they, you know, Twitter since uh, Elon Musk has taken over is being portrayed as this uh, right wing uh, nutty place where right wing uh, uh, crazies, the nutty part of the right wing, uh, is dominating the conversation. Now, I don't have the stats on it. There is a lot of crazy right-wing people on uh, X. There's no question about that. There's a lot of racism, anti-Semitism, new right, alt-right, whatever you want to call it. There's just a lot of crazy left on X. So there's a there's a, a huge number of them. And the, and the standard by which Elon Musk allows some people to be on and other people's not to be on is still ambiguous and undefined and ill-defined, just like it was before. Elon Musk joins. I guess he allows a bigger spectrum, but my uh, opposition always has been to the lack of objectivity. What I want is an objective standard. He has still not provided such an objective standard, and that's to his detriment, and that is uh, really unfortunate. Anyway, Media Matters, uh, when w w last week, uh, flagged, um, uh, flagged uh, Twitter as... Uh, is basically uh, showing ads for mainstream media comp mainstream companies out there uh, with uh, uh, adjacent to posts adjacent to posts um, that uh, adjacent to posts that were uh, anti-Semitic, uh, what they define as far right, but no, I mean really you know, racist, anti-Semitic, alt-right type posts. And next to them, you would find ads supposedly of Apple or, or MGM or I don't know, uh, uh, other companies, regular companies out there, a NBA, uh, NBC Universal, uh, Amazon, and, and, and companies like that. Uh, right next to, uh, you know, fascist, uh, alt-right, and, and racist uh, uh, ads. And uh, so they, they let the advertisers know, you know, hey, guys, your ads are being uh, shown next to, and it appears that you're like you're promoting these uh, racist tweets. And as a consequence, partially of that, but to a large part because of, uh, you know, Elon Musk's stupid retweet and support for a tweet by a known anti-Semite promoting an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, which he then kind of 
narrowed and backed off of, but never deleted the tweet, and, and the tweet still stands. And he never, never, uh, uh, you know, re renounced the fact that he retweeted a tweet by a known anti-Semite. That's okay to, 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 to comment positively on a known anti-Semite's tweet, uh, according to Elon Musk. I mean, so th it was stupid. I, again, I don't think Elon Musk is an anti-Semite, but what he did was stupid, irresponsible. Uh, uh, it shows uh, awful judgment and... Uh, his backtracking from it was weak and pathetic. And yeah, I get that people like Ben Shapiro and others need to, uh, Tucker Carlson and others need to support Elon Musk because they, everything they stand, you know, they, they depend on him so much, but I call it the way I see it. Anyway, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these companies withdrew all advertising from uh, Twitter. Twitter, which is barely surviving financially anyway, which is struggling financially in terms of generating revenue has been from before Musk, but is more so with Musk because advertising has, there's been less advertising uh, once Musk has taken over, uh, can't afford to lose uh, their biggest advertisers, in including Apple. Uh, the concept of that could be devastating for uh, Twitter and could be devastating for Musk himself, right? And so uh, Musk filed the lawsuit on Monday saying the media matters is purposefully, purposefully manipulating the screenshots that it's getting from Twitter in order to show something that doesn't really exist. And, and, and they're making the case that what, what Twitter is doing, what uh, Media Matters is doing, is, this, is the gaming the algorithm. They found ways to game the algorithm so that the algorithm will produce on the same screen uh, uh, tweets by uh, uh, alt-right, racist tweets, anti-Semitic tweets, and right next to them, advertisement. So uh, Twitter is not denying that such occurrences happen. What Twitter is denying is this, it, it, that they happen systematically at all. They, they, they're claiming it's very, very rare, and uh, that the only reason you see so many of these, what did I, I'm not sure what I did there to make this full screen. Let's see if that fixes it, that fixes it. There we go. Um, it, the only reason that Media Matters can show so many of these and so much of this is because they have manipulated uh, the data, they've manipulated the, uh, the algorithm, and uh, therefore it is suing them uh, for all the lost business that they have as a consequence of their recommendations. Um, it's, uh, it, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, I, I'm not surprised at all to find that Elon Musk is right about this. Uh, Media Matters, I'm sure, uh, you, you know, has manipulated uh, this in one way or another. Another report, this one uh, in the um, uh, New York Post claimed that they, that they basically uh, refreshed the screen, refreshed the screen a billion times in order to find one screen where they found this relationship, and it's very, very uncommon, and it's very rare. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how the, how the lawsuit plays out. Uh, Media Matters clearly is a partisan, biased organization. It is sad that, uh, that, the, that there is no better entity uh, to provide this kind of information for large corporations. Um, but it's also sad, as I said, that Twitter does not have some kind of objective standard for what it permits on its website and what it doesn't. I mean, it, it really is and has been since um, uh, since he took over. It really is whatever uh, whatever Elon feels like uh, that is permitted, and whatever he doesn't feel like that is banned. And and the sense is that it's completely up to Elon Musk, and there's no standard by which creators and posters. Um, know whether something they're doing is uh, not acceptable or is acceptable. And in that sense, I'm not saying it's worse than it was before. I'm saying it's not that different than it was before. Uh, the only difference is now it's one man's whim determines the standards. And before, it was a committee's whim that determined the standards. But in neither case have the standards been uh, in any sense objective. Objective, I mean... I don't mean objectivist. I mean objective in the sense of understandable. When I read a post, I know this is acceptable, this is not acceptable. Uh, what is acceptable, what isn't acceptable. Um, who knows? 
Nobody knows. Uh, you know, it, what is acceptable is anything that doesn't piss Elon Musk off. If it pisses him off, it might become very quickly unacceptable and, and uh, booted off of Twitter. That's sad. You'd think you'd have these are smart guys. They'd be able to come up with some objective standard that we can all live by. Anyway, uh, interesting to follow um, Media Matters and see what the ultimate outcome is going uh, to be.